Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the binomial Taylor series. To do this we first recall if n is a positive integer Then, a plus b to the n is the sum, k goes from 0 to n, of n choose k, a to the n minus k, b to the k. We're here, n choose k is the binomial coefficient, it's n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial. And what this is, is the number of ways to choose k subsets of k from n. So it's the number of ways to choose a subset of k elements from the set n. And so what can happen is that we can take this expansion and we can generalize it to the Taylor format. So let's consider now f of x is 1 plus x to the lambda, where here lambda is any real number you wish. And what we can do is we can say, well, we can compute derivatives of this thing. So this function f prime of x will be lambda 1 plus x to the lambda minus 1. f double prime of x is lambda and then lambda minus 1. x plus 1 plus x to the lambda minus 2. f triple prime of x is lambda, lambda minus 1, lambda minus 2 and then 1 plus x to the lambda minus 3, and so on. So if I do n derivatives, so I have f n of x, we have lambda, lambda minus 1, all the way down to lambda minus 1 less than this number. So I'm going to have a lambda minus 1 less than this number, so that's n minus 1, and then a 1 plus x to the lambda minus n. And since lambda is any real number, not necessarily an integer, this sequence of derivatives will just go on forever. Now what we can see is we can see when we plug in the values, we get the sequence of numbers. If we plug in, so f of 0 will just be equal to 1. f prime of 0, looking at this formula over here, will just be lambda. f double prime of 0 will be lambda times lambda minus 1. And so on. In general, fn of 0 will be lambda times lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 2 times lambda minus n and then minus minus 1 turns into a plus 1. So that may cause some confusion but there's a plus 1 here but it's important to remember that this is an n minus 1 over here where it corresponds to the nth derivative. So what we can do now is we can say we write on our expansion that 1 plus x to the power lambda for any lambda is the sum k goes from 0 to infinity and the top will be a lambda, lambda minus 1, all the way down to lambda minus k plus 1, all divided by k factorial, x to the power k. And so sometimes what we'll see is we'll see this thing is referred to as a falling factorial. So these things are falling factorials. And what's important when you're solving these problems is that typically what you'll do is you'll use these for approximations. So while this is the full Taylor expansion, you can write the first couple terms as just 1 plus lambda x plus lambda times lambda minus 1 over 2 x squared plus lambda times lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 2 over 6, which is 3 factorial x 
cubed, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. And when you're approximating things, these first couple terms over here, the first three terms are usually the most important terms for approximation purposes. In fact, usually only the first three terms are the first, the up to the quadratic terms are the most important for approximation purposes. So getting acclimated with this formula over here for different values of lambda and for different values of x is very useful. Thank you very much.